Dudes and dudettes of the internet, thanks so much for continuing to pay that GK Flix subscription for free 99 and stay in tune to the finest of install videos, drip fed IV style. And what better way to introduce the next thing on the menu being our GR, GT86, BRZ, FRS, RLCAs, AKA the rear lower control arms. As you can see, spinning in a similar rotation to the earth is the main attraction, ladies and gentlemen, which we promised you in the title. Even though it looks like a pair of your Auntie May's ripped pantyhose, it turns out your Auntie was on the design team, squeezing out that one thing we try to give every single part we design, that being copious amounts of adjustment. We will run through all the fantastic things mentioned above, being the adjustment, your Andy's patty hose, and something about the headlights later in this video, but for now, let's rip the OEM stuff out! Now once you've ripped off whatever wheel you found on Marketplace on your ride, whom you hopefully lowballed the living shit out of, head inwards to the main bolt, throw a spanner onto one side, and zap out said hardware. Head outboard to the link pin, look at square in the rubber, and again, throwing your favorite gun up onto one side, grab a spanner on the other, and zap that thing on out. Head further outboard to the next victim of this little zapping rampage and throw your trusty spanner on the backside and pull that trigger and sling that bolt out. Finally head further outboard to the final boss, the last bolt on the knuckle that is coming between you and all the dudes you're going to pick up with the most adjustable arms of 2024. Throw the gun on one and the spanner on the other, then zap and calmly remove the OEM lower control arm and you're ready to assemble the holiest of lower control arms that the Pope has ever seen. Put your holy water down for this part of the video, that being adjustment. Well, lucky for you, we've afforded your eyeballs the luxury of a demo with no need for the ancient texts. Get your favorite small rattle gun on a swivel or your favorite ratchet to suit and jam your favorite tool into the backside of whatever you find to be our ultra fun double adjuster. I know what you're thinking. It's amazing. It's called technology and yes, we're in talks with NASA. Now, as you know, we always recommend starting with the maximum safe extension and then winding downwards from there. So starting with the max safe extension, we'll be at 79 millimeters, measuring from the base of the arm to the middle of the bearing, which is made up of 52 millimeters from the edge of the extender to the middle of said bearing. Then if you were to wind that inwards to OEM length through the ultra classified technology we showed you earlier, you'd get 44 millimeters measuring from the base of the arm to the middle of the rose joint, which is made up of 34 millimeters from the base of the extender to the middle of the rose joint. Now our weapon of mass pantyhose dropping is fairly tame at the moment, so we're going to be running it at OEM length for the time being. Now that we have our length set, let's end with the most delicious part being the small little bent Dorito chip. Again, if you're blessed with this sensor, you'll notice it on your lower control arm. If not, then sorry bud that's okay you can skip this segment there are three holes to adjust and depending on where you set your lower control arm adjustment is similar to where you would set your Dorito to we would suggest comparing off the OEM LCA and going from there Jesus Christ that burrito's coming back up we weren't blessed with these features so we will be raw dogging that Dorito no salsa style instead and can now move on to the rest of the install head back over to the registered sleigh wagon and through the rose joint up through the subframe while also throwing the bolt through the guts Swing that arm up, making sure you line up all your friends, marrying that last bolt hole up with the knuckle. Now, as you know, that X to the Z was apparently on the design team and kept telling the engineers, yo dog, we heard customers want adjustment while they can adjust their adjustment. So with that ringing day to day through the engineer's prefrontal cortex, they had no choice but to offer every piece of adjustability known to man. Starting with our adjustment marathon, let's start with season one of coilover adjustment, also known as motion ratio adjustment. Now the inboard hole is the softest settings these arms will allow for so we would say the butter setting. Outwards from the butter setting is the middle hole which is slightly more firm being on the hard boiled egg side where it sits just a bit firmer than butter. Then lastly you have the outboard hole which is the closest to OEM being the firmest setting these arms have to offer and without knowing what is harder than butter or a hard boiled egg we can just say that this is the firmest goddamn setting and totally kill the punchline of the joke. As you know, we're setting this as close to OEM as possible, so we will be sticking with the OEM setting, that being the stiffest, because who needs kidneys anyway? Go ahead and throw a bolt up just to keep that in place for now. Head over to the outside of the arm, and what do you know? There's more adjustment. This time around, though, we're affording you the luxury of changing your ride height. Yes, that's right. Now, if you were to line up the knuckle and insert that bolt like we were showing on the screen through the top bolt hole, you'd be lowering your pride and joy by 25 millimeters, aka one inch for those measuring in biblical times. If you were to remove said bolt and let the knuckle hang down to the lower hole, it would be the OEM position that you've already had. 
And as you know, that's exactly what we're aiming for, which honestly breaks my heart, so we will be using the OEM setting instead of the drop setting. Throw the supplied hardware up and through, winding that on from the other side. And the last form of adjustment comes down to the only other goddamn thing that we could bolt onto this arm being the link pin. They're extremely short and are more likely made for a go-kart or a Shetland pony. They have little to no misalignment to be able to work with to adjust motion ratio like we did with the strut. The long story short is that it depends on where you set your arm length. And this is why we're bolting the end links up last, as only one end link hole will pretty much work for a set length. Because we've set our length, we can let this fall into its natural position, high 5x to the Z, and move right along. Now go ahead and throw the bolt through the hole and wind that nut on from the other side. And now we get to throw down more torques than a Dodge Ram on a mobile dyno blowing up his engine in a fiery ball of death. Start by heading all the way inwards, throw a spanner on one side and tighten and torque the lower control arm to the specs that have been sneaked on into the screen. Then head outwards to the link pin again, tightening and torquing. Move on over to the coilover and tighten and torque to the specs shown on the screen. Lastly, tighten and torque your last bolt on the knuckle down to the specs that have been laid out kindly for you right now. Head back inwards to the bearing as we would never have forgotten about this little guy and make sure that thing is running central, not cocked to the far left like Democrats or far right like the Republicans, but central like Switzerland. Pick up the torque wrench who had his gone fish and hat on thinking he was stepping into retirement, tossing him up and lastly torquing that pinch clamp bolt to ensure the adjuster doesn't go anywhere and set him back into retirement for the night. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, check that the arm has clearance on the subframe during compression. As you can see on the screen, we have a hair of clearance. If you didn't, you'd need to give your subframe a slight haircut. Speaking of haircuts, throw those long and beautiful luscious locks back out of your face, roll out from the floor and look at the work you've just nailed. You now have slightly more confidence, hopefully more smiles on your face, more cuts and grazes, and a pair of slightly ripped pantyhose, a pet croc, and definitely, definitely, definitely more adjustment in your life. Speaking of haircuts, these dudes know how to stay fresh and clean and keep you updated on your life with all this content. If you don't know what you're doing and need help, have a professional do it or reach out to us. We don't bite. This has been Officer Dan, Johnny Caps, X to the Z, and KYS Zach with another one of the world's best how-to videos. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Head back over to the registered sleigh wagon through... <laughs> Did not expect that. Holy f That was good. That was good.